Hey, I'm Benny from SimTutor, and welcome to this new weekly series where I'll go over a small aspect of SimTutor and walk you through it, giving my tips and tricks as we go. To start things off, we'll be creating a quiz-based hotspot step in PowerPoint. This allows for a visual representation of a quiz step so that the learner can apply their knowledge more effectively when choosing the correct answers. In this lesson, we'll learn how to resize a PowerPoint slide to the optimal resolution in SimTutor, add images and text to that slide, and then format the slide so it looks visually appealing. Let's get started. All right, so here we are on a blank slide uh, within PowerPoint. I personally like to use PowerPoint as I find it's quite easy to make consistently good looking images, but if you wanna use Photoshop or any other uh, photo editing tool, then that's up to you. So first thing we're gonna do is change the slide size as the default slide size in PowerPoint is a little bit small, so it might stretch out the pixels, making the image look a bit blurry. So just follow along with me. So go to the design tab, and on the right side, you'll see the slide size button. So we click on that and then click on the custom slide size. So the dimensions we use here, uh, what we find is most optimal is the normal dimensions of a monitor, uh, of most people's monitors, which is 1920px. And make sure that you put the um, PX at the end of it, otherwise it will think it's centimeters. Um, and 1080px, I'll put those numbers on screen as well. So 1920px, click OK, and it will adjust the slide size to that. All right, so the next thing we need to do is add our images and text to the slide and create the hotspot step we're after. So for this video, we'll come, we'll come up with a random scenario. Uh, we're a worker working in the yard, and we need to select three PPE out of the four supplied. Um, this is just a random scenario I've made up. Um, so I've got four images here that I'll just paste into our uh, slide, and if they can go anywhere you want, don't worry about the size or anything like that. We're just going to remove this little subtitle uh, text box, and for the title, we're going to ask the question that we want that we'd want to ask our learners for this slide. So exactly what I said before. So I'll just type that in now. Cool. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And what's cool about PowerPoint is that it actually does most of the work for you. So you'll notice on the uh, right side there, um, we have these design ideas and you can just go through and select your favorite one. Um, and it basically just does, does the work for you. I use this a lot. Uh, it saves a lot of time with design and layout and all that stuff. So it's very, very useful. Cool, so that's basically our image already done. Um, so the next thing we need to do is just save this, and that's basically it. So to do that, we just need to go into File, um, Save As, and hit that Browse button, and you can actually uh, save it as a JPEG or PNG. Uh, either one would work. All good. So you put it in there, and then you can just save it and hit just one. You can actually um, save multiple slides as images all at once or just the single one. Cool, so that's all done. Um, so next ep next episode, we're going to go into actually use this image within SimTutor and add the interactivity of putting hotspots on the uh, PPE. Cool, so if you have any questions, uh, email us at info at and we'll see you next time. Bye.